Welcome to round one of this league with Bant Retreat. Uh, we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this hand. I can't imagine this hand is bad. If the deck's going to be functional, I guess. Question in my mind is how we curve out here. Uh, Polluted Delta implies that we might want to land Voice of Resurgence as early as possible, but... So the options are tap land voice on two, or untap land birds into retreat on two, or voice pa I I kind of just want to see what happens if I just land a retreat really early in this deck. I guess I have a birds two, so my third turn just gets crazy. I was just thinking about the scry possibilities, but it's pretty cool. Oh, cool. I traded two life. That's so lucky. I'm definitely the beatdown. Good luck, generic Grixis opponent. Please don't have a mana leak. No! So sad. Basic Swamp Mana Leak. Basic Island. No, I don't want to pay. There is a breeding pool in my deck to fetch, right? Let's just double check real fast. Nope. Reading full, no basic island. That's what I thought. Okay. No! All my stuff! All my things, they're gone! No idea if my opponent's... Manly plus... What are they doing? Grixis twin, maybe? Nah. I don't know. Delver of some kind? Usually it's I-OK. -okay. They're that afraid of the card? Oh, boy. <laughs> hmm. I think I don't need blue. I think I just want to fetch basic forest here. Run out the ooze with enough to counter a snapcaster. Okay, I was trying to bait the mana leak. Uh, a second leak. I guess also... So the other reason I don't play the knight here... Other than second mana leak, that is. Is that I do not want to get it lightning bolted. I'd rather wait two turns so I can play my other fetch land. That's a convenient thing for me. So this... I don't think there's a creature I need to EOT path. So I'd like to get a tapped land. I don't think I need a significant number of white sources. I could, in theory, need extra green for ooze. So I'm going to get a breeding pool. Tapped. Play a 4-4. Four, four. Had some good draw steps. This is probably getting terminated. Yep. Okay.
Uh, I should have held that. I keep forgetting about Colagon's command in these scenarios. Another terminate? No fun. Yeah, if I don't, if I hold this, I can not have my path get K commanded. That would be wonderful. My opponent is probably now realizing that they're supposed to upkeep K command here because I only have one card in my hand. They know it's a path. They probably should have main phased it. Doesn't really matter too much. I hope I've learned my lesson. Two knights in graveyard, that's very bad for me. Yeah, if I just don't mess this up, I probably... Well, I don't immediately... Like, I'm not immediately dead, I guess. But I'm not going to be alive for much longer this game. I think my opponent's supposed to exile more cards as opposed to less. One, two, three, yeah. Eh, four is actually enough. You leave yourself with Terminate, Terminate, Command, Bolt. Which leaves you the correct mix of spread for Snapcaster Mage and uh, minimal variety for Tassiger. What am I doing here? I would like to scry one. Uh, I'll save the twiddle. Let's gain some life. It's probably kind of aggressive to do it, but... So what I'm doing here is that I'm scrying one. If I don't want the card, I'm gaining four life. Uh, yep, that's going to stay on top. Yep. Uh, you can have that one. You've received a random card and a bad Tassiger. Yeah, that Nambo, it's such a weird, like, combo Nambo. Like, the rapid fire, like, early game Tassiger is so good. Where you just, like, Thought, Seize Ta or Thought Scour Tassiger off of, like, Fetch and have a Tassiger in play super early. Oh, I just got, eh, I forgot about that. I'll take this hit. Forgot about that aspect of Thought Scour where my opponent can clear my top card. Ugh. I'm not supposed to give Kolagon's commander a lightning bolt, I guess. Got a plan here. My opponent's gonna thought scour me. So what's gonna happen? I 
Hooray! I tricked him. Tricked him real good. Well, I'm gonna gain some life now that that card's in play. This can still fetch basic. Let's get the duel just to get it out of the deck. And now that the tar pit's in play, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've been dead for a long time here, but. Now I really have to get aggressive and not taking damage. Yeah, that's probably good enough for now. So many cards in my opponent's hand. It was definitely a preemptive scoop, but that's pretty much the lock point. So, this card is great. Thalia is pretty good. I'm not even sold I want to be the combo deck in this matchup. Definitely don't want Pride Mage. That card is really crappy here. Even if my opponent has Blood Moon, I have enough basics to beat that. Though, I don't actually think Talia is as good as people think it is in this matchup. Let's just try one for now, just as a body. It interferes with this. It's fragile against things like Fork Bolt or Electrolyze. Don't want one of those. Don't think I want one of those. One of the kitchen things is what I want. Modern leagues are great. Leagues in general are great, but... This is fine. I do not need another beefy idiot. I just need a land. Hooray! I can win the game. Hot a thousand percent dead. Unless I get gut shotted. In which case Cedric would smile. Uh let's land the creature that does not die to lightning bolt here. Well does not unprofitably die to lightning bolt, let's rephrase that. Something I have can die to lightning bolt here. I think I'm okay with that. But I got really excited because of the mismatching art. I'm like, ooh, a Geist. I didn't have one of those. But it turns out I did. I want blue-green. And yeah, this is the worst board against Pyroclasm, but I like removing the extra, like, if I get Pyroclasm here, it's not the end of the world. This just gives my opponent the least amount of time to actually do anything. Anger of the Gods would be pretty bad. So my follow-up's reasonable. Discard a card, two damage to Voice of Resurgence. Uh, this one. <laughs> Lesson learned.
That one. Oh, wow. Well, that was lethal. Um, I didn't even math. Wow. Okay. Never call against command your band opponent when they have a full hand. I'm glad we're learning important lessons today. I think I still want a couple combos. I might pull it off. My band beatdown deck sure looks good. This looks like a very acceptable hand. Unfortunately, we die if our opponent has Blood Moon, but that's kind of life, I guess. Hopefully, we draw a green fetch. Though, I don't think the Grixis Control deck is too high on boarding in Blood Moon against my deck. So, my opponent's probably going to take. Actually, not that. I don't know what my my opponent can't take this land, so I don't know what they're supposed to take here. Probably this card. This is the hardest card for them to trade with. This card they might be able to dispel. Yeah, I was supposed. To, mm. I think stubborn now is more for the matches where you're actually going full on combo. Whereas this matchup, I think I can just outpower my opponent with the creatures I have in my deck. So the two lessons of this, this tournament so far are Kologon's Command. I'm going to keep repeating them so I don't forget them. It's hold your extra lands so you can pitch them. And don't target your Bant opponent when they have a million freaking cards in hand. Visions? Oh, snare. I don't really just want to play voice here. Uh, so, the reason is that my opponent, well, so if I put my opponent on, oh no, I got bluffed potentially. So I was thinking that if my opponent had snare plus fetch land, that would put them into casting Tassiger next turn, which I really don't want to have happen. But now I'm just going to get wrecked because they can play Tassiger with the snare up this turn. Oh no! Uh, I guess I misclicked there. It's technically correct to fetch, I think, because I think the life matter. This fetching a green matters a little more, but. Though I guess not getting Fulminator Mage again, if that could happen, would be great. I don't think I want to be retreating this game. Our opponent didn't learn... This card card is actually just strictly incorrect at this point, because I'm going to have to discard anyways. Yeah, that's fine. 
Hopefully I draw a green fetch land and just get to play the rest of this game off basics. I think I'm just supposed to jam a goif. I don't think I can actually take the extra damage here. Uh, the problem being that if I do, I just die too fast to tar pits. There was no spell snare. I outthought myself a little bit on the. Eh, I don't know. I, I think the math there, I don't have the path at that point, so, like, it gets really bad if I just, like, jam it out there and that happens. I'll block. Okay. I passed. This was a test. This was a test and you failed. You're supposed to kill my creature and then... I think I'm just supposed to do this here. My opponent's tapping makes me think that they have, or they don't have a creature to expose here. And just gaining the life. They're getting the point they're going to double tarp at me, so I should just cut them off before anything of that nature happens. Oh look, I drew another path. Both of the targets will die here. Just get to play the whole game with so many cards in hand. My goal is just to spend as much time as possible in this dirtle phase of the game, where my opponent, in theory, has nothing. Because as soon as I just get to start casting... St there we go. Spells. Basic. Voice. Yeah, who needs Lance? You'll get there eventually. This game is pretty stupid right now. <laughs> None of those are creatures. How lucky. I will get my bonus damage in. Thank you very much. Oh, and I might actually cast spells next turn. There's that, too. Oh, my gosh. My knight got bigger from Fulminator Mage. That's so lucky. I think I'm supposed to extend knight before I... Mm. So... This is actually an interesting spot. If I don't draw the land. This is no longer an interesting spot. Uh, one, two, th six. Hmm. 
think I'm supposed to lead on Smiter. Get the worst creature terminated. Well, the, get the creature that win that doesn't win the fight against Gurmag Angler, presumably terminated. The big creature presumably also gets terminated because I can't imagine what else is in my opponent's hand at this point. That's not a terminate. I have a 6-6. Six, six. How do you beat a 6-6? Six, six? Okay, there's a terminate. How lucky you top deck. No, you didn't. Probably not top deck. Well, I will play the other one. It's not like I have other choices to make. I could play birds and have it die to a lightning bolt and then not play a, like play the same three drop next turn. Or I can hope my opponent doesn't draw a Snapcaster Mage. Damnation. Great. No. What is this? They're leaving up Snare, too? Possibly Dispel? I hope it's... Yeah, okay, I can beat 5-5. Five, five. I think. If I draw a land right here, I'm pretty good. Ooze. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to... <laughs> My gut instinct there was to play both. It's bad against another anger. It's the ooze doesn't say the problem is, is the ooze isn't getting out of bolt range that turn. So I didn't think it was getting me anywhere to hold the ooze. I may as well do this on opponent's upkeep. Finks, 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 please, Finks. Oh my gosh, I have choices. What do I do? Uh, it's probably Goy Finks. I don't think the voice is the card I want here. That goif is so big. It's bigger than a 5-5. Five five. So in this case, I'm not going to hold the extra land uh, because I'm okay discarding the Geist. Like, the Geist is a blank if I don't play the land. Not like it gets better. If, like, if I, if I play the land, this card might actually get cast. And if I have to discard a card to Kologon's Command and I discard this card, it's the same as if the land wasn't in play. These Grixis decks are not good. I, people were really excited about them for a while, and I just don't get it anymore. I think the big lesson we've learned is that this is good in a John deck, but that's about it. What, what, is, what is this? Is this another, is this an, is this so much mana? Six? Consecrated Sphinx? That would be a problem.
I'm debating if I want to reshuffle. So there's three blanks and a hit. Which is... Or there's... Sorry, there's... Yeah, three blanks and a hit. And left in my deck are... Two knights... A smiter... Two voice... So there's an exile voice. So two knights... Left in the rest of my deck, not the bottom four. So it's an ooze, two goys, two knights, a smiter, two guys, so eight. Eight out of 30 is definitely better than one out of four, and I'm probably forgetting something else other things, so it's better to not fetch before I company here. It's basically whether adding that Voice of Resurgence to my deck increases the power level of the cards that I can hit. Which it doesn't. Even though probably by reshuffling the two mana dorks I'm more likely to hit two things, I don't think hitting a Noble Hierarch matters at this point in the game. My opponent just never hit a Snapcaster Mage all match. That's so lucky for me. Oh boy. This is so many things that have so much power. This one kills you. This one kills you. They all kill you. Um, don't really want to reshuffle. There's a bunch of crap on the bottom of my deck. Just jam. Opponent's dead in so many ways. Snapcaster Mage might get them out of this, I think. It's hard to tell. So they could snap, command. Yeah. Yeah, who needs lands? You just draw them eventually. You have all your cards. So my opponent apparently just drew the Snapcaster Mage. It is significantly too late at this point. And conveniently, this attack didn't do the math, but the shove with everything actually let me not... Well... My opponent dies to this instead of surviving. They could, if I didn't attack with the Finks, they could snap, kill the Angel with the Terminate, chump the Goyf and the Knight, survive, draw, snap, snap, damnation, survive a turn. Yeah, in theory, there was a chain there. Well, win the match 3-0. Botch game one pretty hard. How lucky.